Yeah, yeah. First of all, uh, uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Chiding and uh, Mr. Henry for in inviting me in uh, this talk. Uh, so, uh, uh, well, when I heard about uh, this uh, 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 lecture series, uh, I hope that uh, when I come here, I can uh, uh, meet uh, 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 quantum uh, computing uh, community and uh, receive more feedback uh, about my research work. So uh, uh, today I will uh, uh, give a talk about my recent work on uh, Hamiltonian reduction technique for scalable quantum computing on uh, uh, click cover and crack coloring problems in uh, satellite communications. So uh, uh, this work uh, I have done uh, with my uh, partners, uh, for, uh, with, uh, Dr. Uh, so Hoang Dao, uh, Dr. Eva uh, Lagunas and uh, Dr. Simon uh, 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 in the uh, University of Luxembourg, uh, RMIT University. And uh, here I'm working at the uh, uh, University of Information Technology, a member of uh, Vietnam National University. So if uh, uh, you have any more question about my slide, uh, then you can contact me via my email after this seminar. Uh, uh, in, in this talk, uh, we will have uh, four sections. In the first session, I will give a brief introduction on uh, quantum computing, some uh, theoretical milestones, uh, the main commercial technologies, I also uh, give uh, some introduction uh, of uh, quantum annealing, uh, QAOAs, uh, the two main techniques to solve optimization in quantum computing, uh, uh, and their limitations. Uh, then I will give a short introduction on uh, click cover and uh, graph coloring, and uh, the use case, which is uh, satellite beam placement problems. Uh, then I will introduce my uh, uh, method of uh, Hamiltonian reduction and its uh, numerical results. So firstly, about uh, uh, the quantum computing. So theoretically, uh, quantum computing shows promising results by breaking the RSK encryption with Shaw algorithm in uh, uh, 1994 or boosting the unstructured short problem with uh, Rover's algorithm in 1996. Uh, 1996. And uh, recently, uh, due to hardware advance, uh, quantum computers are uh, commercialized, uh, which can be easily accepted via cloud computing platforms. And uh, there are two main uh, technology in quantum computing. Uh, there are uh, quantum gate processors uh, which is to make uh, general purpose quantum computers. And uh, for this kind of uh, gate processor, the leading company is IBM. And we can use uh, IBM, uh, Eagle, uh, IBM Eagle, yeah, IBM Eagle to solve a maximum of 127 uh, variables. So uh, last year they released a new uh, uh, IBM uh, quantum processor but uh, they, uh, they are not online yet. So we, we wait to see. And uh, uh, on the uh, other hand, we have quantum annealer. So uh, this computer only solve optimization problems. And uh, we have D-Wave, uh, which is a leading company in uh, this technology. And a D-Wave can solve uh, less than 200 variables. And uh, besides uh, IBM and D-Wave on uh, gate processor, we have IonQ, or uh, we have Sanadu, which is also a uh, Canadian startup company like D-Wave. And uh, on quantum annealing, uh, we will have a QNN Cloud, uh, which is a Japanese uh, quantum computing company, uh, a child company of uh, NTT company. So, uh, uh, which, uh, because we have many uh, quantum company of uh, different uh, hardware and uh, their hardware have dif different quality and a uh, different cost to accept. For example, here we can see we have uh, IonQ. IonQ only provide uh, 
11 qubit on uh, Amazon practice. Uh, so from the uh, paper show in this slide, you can see that uh, we have uh, different quality uh, in different device, uh, different number of qubits and a different cost. So uh, making the right decision uh, for user is very difficult. And uh, quantum computer can have user to solve uh, optimization problem. Uh, those problems should be formulated as uh, Ising models. So uh, you can see here we have an uh, Ising model where the variable is one or minus one, and we can uh, construct uh, uh, unconstrained uh, uh, quadratical binary problem. We can also have a quadratical unconstrained binary optimization uh, where the uh, binary, where the binary is either zero or one, and we can uh, easily to transfer Ising, mo Ising model to Cubo uh, with the equation on the bottom of the slice. And to use the uh, uh, quantum optimization algorithm, we will have some pipeline. Uh, 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 in the beginning, we will have our origin, original problem I call P. Uh, the variable in P is X. Then in order to apply to uh, gate processor or uh, quantum annular, then we need to encode the problem into Hamiltonian HP. Then we will call an API to send to the processor. If we use a uh, gate uh, processor, we not only need to pro prepare the Hamiltonian, but we need to pre design uh, which classical optimizer uh, to select uh, the beta and gamma in the gate processor. So different with the annular in the gate processor, the circuit will be uh, parameterized by beta and gamma. And uh, the process in a uh, gate processor uh, in, will minimize the energy of the system and the classical computer uh, need to find the way to optimize beta and gamma in order to minimize the energy of the system. Then after the process, the annular and the gate processor will return the solution X uh, prop. So I will give a uh, uh, brief example. For example, uh, we would like to solve a mascot problem. And when we use a gate processor, uh, we will repair a circuit. So in the circuit, there are a single qubit gate and uh, uh, two qubit gate. So uh, in this picture, you can see that the, the, uh, the blue, blue color gate uh, is the initial light gate. We also have the pink one uh, has, having some parameter in the gate and they are gamma. And we have the purple one uh, having also some numbers and those are beta. So the classical computer in the gate, uh, gate based system will find a way to optimize the energy of the system. Mm. So uh, the limitation in uh, quantum computer is that uh, due to the hardness of quantum errors, so the cost as well as the error will increase dramatically when the number of qubits increase. So for example, if I want to solve a mascot problem with uh, 32 vertex, then uh, the maximum uh, money I could pay is about three, uh, 3,000 US dollar. So if I can reduce a problem into uh, 16, uh, 16 vertex, then uh, the maximum money I, I will pay is about uh, uh, 700 US dollar. So you can see that the cost of quantum computing uh, increase uh, exponentially when we increase the number of uh, logical qubit.
So, uh, therefore, uh, in order to uh, solve a big problem, uh, we need a Hamiltonian uh, reduction method to reduce the size of the, of the Hamiltonian to fit in the quantum computer. And here we see that uh, there are two leading methods. The first one is a roof duality, which is implemented in uh, D-Wave uh, Ocean Library. So, and, uh, and another one is FAT here. So for roof duality, this is the pre-solved technique based on linear relaxation. And uh, FAT here is a graph uh, computational method. So for FAT here, they will design uh, a group of variable which will be have the same value, either minus one or one in the Zeising model. Uh, but for the, those two methods, they are working on unconstrained problem. So, but in real life, there are many constrained problems. So the feasibility in the constrained problem of the final solution is a big question. So uh, for my work, I will propose a Hamiltonian method uh, working on a click cover and graph coloring problem, and they obtain high re uh, reduction ratio. And I will evaluate the method on a satellite beam placement use case uh, with the US vessel data, and I obtain high solution quality. So in summarize, so without the Hamiltonian reduction, you need to encoding the Hamiltonian from Px, then you send the Hamiltonian to uh, the processor via API, then you return, then the API will return you the solution. And with the Hamiltonian reduction method, then you will uh, reconstruct uh, the reduced version of H, which is H prime. Then you send H prime to the processor. Uh, the processor will give you uh, x prime and you will recover the solution x of the, pro of the problem p. So to use uh, quantum optimization in, in my paper, I use uh, quantum annealing. So for anyone, uh, which is the first time you use quantum computing, uh, you can create an account then uh, you can uh, store your token and install the library of the uh, service provider. So for uh, D-Wave, uh, can offer you uh, one free minute for environment. So now I will give you uh, a brief introduction on click cover problem and the use case of a satellite beam placement. So uh, click covering and uh, graph coloring is a complementary problem in graph theory. So if you can solve a click covering problem, you can also solve a graph coloring problem. So you, you can see that on uh, the left-hand side, uh, here is the problem of finding the minimum number of clicks to cover the whole of the graph. You see that if you do the complementary graph of graph sheet, then by finding the minimum number of color to color the graph the G bar, then it's also equivalent to finding the minimum number of click in graph G. And that there are many applications of those formulations. For example, in a click cover problem, then you have a satellite beam placement, you have a community detection, and you also have a optimal grouping in uh, quantum measurement. Uh, for uh, graph coloring, you have many scheduling problem, uh, frequency assignment, and uh, registry allocation in operating system. So uh, now I will talk about my use case here, which is a beam placement problem. Uh, so for uh, beam placement problem uh, with the ability to provide response to high demand in a remote location and their software route chip delay, the LEO system have grown significantly in recent years. 
you can see in the picture, then after 2019, then there is a significant number of deployment in LEO satellite system. The reason is that after 2019, the SCC allowed the private sector to come to play the game. So to keep the network simple and uh, maximizing the provide gain up to user, then the operator may prefer to reduce the number of beam generated on board. And there are early work for the formulated beam placement problem as the uh, click cover up problem, which is intractable for a classical computer to solve. Uh, due to the dynamic of Leo system, so we need fast and uh, op near optimal uh, optimization solution. And with the emergence of a uh, commercial quantum computer, so we will explore the potential of quantum computing for this problem. So now we're talking about the uh, uh, beam placement uh, mathematical models. So here I consider a system with n user and one satellite which is able to provide maximum B beams. So nearby user can be served by the same beam and from uh, our previous work. So any pair of uh, given user may be, separate, may be separated by the angle of alpha smaller than uh, alpha over two. So alpha here is the con angle of a satellite, which is about, uh, 3.2 degree in gradient. So if uh, there are uh, any pair of user smaller than 3.2 degree, then uh, uh, we can uh, construct an X from uh, uh, user I to user J, and uh, we can construct uh, the indirect uh, proximity graph uh, then we uh, we have some variable in my uh, models. So we denote uh, ZB is an indicator whether we activate uh, beam B or not. We also have a uh, user assignment matrix. So here we use AIB. So AIB is one if a user is assigned to beam B, so you can see here we have the uh, optimization problem P1. Uh, so the ob objective function and the uh, uh, constraint uh, C1, C2, C3, and C5 is actually the formulation of a click cover problem. We, on we only have a different uh, additional constraint C4 for the maximum number of user could be served by a beam. So in order to apply to quantum computer, we need to transform the problem to a Kubo problem first. And uh, based on uh, Lucas uh, 2014, we need to uh, overcome the knapsack constraint C4 first. And so to do so, we need to introduce uh, slack variables to obtain uh, P1 bar and make C4 become equality. Then uh, uh, by, uh, after that, also based on Lucas 2014, we can uh, create a, a QO problem of P1. Uh, you can check my uh, paper to see uh, the detail on the mathematical uh, derivation. So uh, we can do some uh, symbol uh, math here. So to uh, construct a uh, Kubo one, then uh, we, uh, we, we have a very large number of qubits. For example, for example, if we have uh, 12 users, uh, 12 beams and each beam can cover five users, then we have about uh, 216 qubits, which is larger than 200. If we have 10 users, then we have uh, 160 uh, uh, smaller than 200, then we can apply to uh, a quantum annulus. 
Uh, however, uh, the size of the network is very small and it's not practical in uh, real life. Uh, therefore, the uh, Hamiltonian reduction method is uh, a necessary uh, part in our pipeline. So next I will talk about my Hamiltonian reduction solution. So uh, in my Hamiltonian reduction solution, there are three parts in my pipeline. In the first part, uh, I have the uh, variable uh, Brisson part consists of uh, finding the maximum independent set and uh, doing the linear relaxation on the remain problem. Then after that, I will uh, uh, based on the result to construct the reduced Hamiltonian H prime and then send the H prime to D wave and receive the result from D wave. So in the beginning, uh, we can see that uh, our problem is a, a integer a linear programming problem. So uh, if we saw a uh, linear programming problem by solving the linear relaxation of that problem. So if the final solution is a binary solution, then we can claim that that uh, solution is also optimal in P1. And however, if uh, I do that, and I, I observe that there is no user is certainly assigned to a beam, uh, uh, equivalent to have uh, a i b equal to one for some b, and uh, surprisingly, if I started to allocate some small user different beam, then uh, many more user are successfully assigned via solving the linear association of the remain problem. So here I uh, give you an example graph, so you can see that the uh, red label node in the graph. They don't have any connection to each other. And uh, they located at the corners of the graph. So, and uh, when I assign different colors to those uh, nodes and doing the linear relaxation on the remain problem, then I see that most of the uh, user will be, as, will be assigned to some beam and only a uh, very small fraction of user is undesigned. Uh, and you can see that uh, because uh, those red uh, labels node uh, is also the independent set of the graph. So the first thing I do in my pipeline is to find the maximum independent set. Uh, so to find the maximum independent set, uh, we can use uh, any existing method uh, to, uh, to find the approximation. Uh, and as a proof of concept, I just employ a simple and a greedy algorithm one. So uh, uh, after solving the maximum independent set, I uh, denote that set is n uh, int. And then I reassign user in n inch into the n inch different beam, and the problem will be reduced to P2. Then I have a lemma. And in this lemma, I claim that uh, the optimal value in P1 is also the optimal value in P2. Uh, this is a very uh, important uh, result. Because uh, if we solve the linear relaxation of P2, which is P2 prime, then uh, P2 prime can play at a very tight bound of P1. Yeah. Uh, at the same time, after solving P2 prime, we can construct uh, Q prime by selecting rows and column of Q corresponding to an assigned user. Then we can convert. Q prime into HP prime and then send to the D wave advantage. And then after we receive the D wave result, we can combine with a P2 prime solution to obtain the uh, 
feasible solution of P1. And here is my uh, numerical result. So in my uh, simulation, I use the user location uh, from the US vessel data and a number of user uh, will be investigated in the range of 25 user to 200 user. The satellite attitude will be uh, set at the most popular attitude of Starlink and uh, the latitude and the longitude of the satellite will be at the center of the Gulf of Mexico. So uh, for each number of n, I will randomly uh, realize the network and the number of realization is 200 times. So the first uh, matrix I consider in my paper is the reduction ratio of the uh, pipeline. So uh, here I denote uh, S prime and S are the number of logical qubits for the redu reduced Hamiltonian and, re and the original one. So in other words, uh, S times S and uh, S prime times S prime are the size of uh, original and a reduced Hamiltonian respectively. So for my simulation, the uh, B way uh, roof duality uh, provide a zero reduction ratio for my uh, Hamiltonian in those simulation. And uh, for my uh, uh, for my uh, method, I achieve very high reduction ratio. And when I increase the number of user, I see that the reduction ratio decrease. Uh, the second matrix I would like to investigate is the success probability uh, of my final solution. So after I re re receive the D-wave solution, I will recover a solution of P1. And there is also a probability that that uh, recover solution is not feasible in P1. So uh, here in my picture, uh, there are some instance which will be successfully solved via my uh, Prism technique. And uh, there are some uh, uh, problem which need the help of quantum annealing to solve. Uh, and uh, uh, not all of the problem will provide feasible solution in the original problem P1. So here is uh, how much uh, the total uh, pipeline can provide the uh, uh, feasibility of the problem. And you can see that when I increase the number of users, the uh, probability, the success probability will be decreased. Uh, however, if you use uh, the D-Wave API and they have uh, uh, BQM and a CQM, uh, that they cannot solve the problem because uh, they have very large number of variables to solve the problem. And the last metric I uh, consider in my uh, paper is the uh, algorithm performance. So here I would like to evaluate the performance of uh, quantum annealing uh, with respect to the best fit algorithm as well as the lower power of the problem. So you know that uh, P1 or P2 uh, are NP half problem. So we cannot know where is the optimal solution. However, we can derive the lower bound by computing the objective value of P2 prime. And uh, with the best fit here in this uh, use case, I fit a user to the most utilized beam, which the user can be assigned without violating any constraints. So if a user cannot be assigned to any existing beams, then a satellite will activate a new beam. And you can see that when we increase the number of user, then uh, uh, the, the line of the best fit will go far away with the lower bound. However, uh, the line of uh, quantum annealing uh, uh, still uh, uh, go alive with the lower bound. So you can see that the uh, quantum annealing will have potential to provide uh, close to optimal solution uh, in uh, this scenario. 
and I have some uh, ongoing uh, question uh, uh, after this work, uh, which is uh, how to evaluate the performance on a real gate processor. Uh, I hope that I could uh, uh, find some person to collaborate uh, on uh, QAOA. Uh, and I would like to extend the reduction method to other problem. Uh, because we have uh, many uh, processor, many quantum processor. So I have another question that after reduction methods, uh, which is the best processor to follow? Uh, because we have a uh, different number of qubit as well as different, uh, different quality and uh, different cost to run on those suppressed processors. So which one is the best processor to follow? Uh, that's all of uh, my... Uh, uh, seminars. So uh, do you have any questions? 